Welcome to a video that will show how to graph parametric equations on a TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator. The goal of the video is to graph any determined points of a plane curve expressed as parametric equations. The first example will be x equals 4 minus t, y equals 2t. Notice there's no interval expressed for t, so we assume t would be all real numbers. The first thing we need to do is put our calculator in parametric mode. If we press the mode key, we need to go to row four and highlight PAR for parametric. So we can press down and then write once over to parametric, press enter, and now it's in parametric mode. So now if we press Y equals, notice we have X1 of T and Y1 of T. So our first example was X equals four minus T. So now if we press the variable key, T will show up. Press enter and then Y was equal to two T. Enter. Now the next thing we have to do is set up the window. Notice the first option for the window is T minimum and T maximum. For this example, T can be any real number, but we still have to define a T minimum and a T maximum. So let's go ahead and select from negative 10 to positive 10. Next we need to select T step, which you can think of as the change in T each time. Let's go ahead and change this to point one. If our T step is too large, the graph will not look smooth. And then the X max, X min, Y max, Y min is the same as it normally is, setting up our window to plot the ordered pairs X, Y. Now let's go ahead and press graph. We can see our graph is a line. Now if we press trace, notice how the T starts at negative 10 and if we press the right arrow, you can see t increases by 0.1 each time. Now these points are off the view of the screen. Once t increases to negative five, you can see this is the point nine, negative 10. So if we had to indicate the direction, this line would be traced. As t increases, we can see it would be in this direction. So we can find points to plot on our paper using the trace feature, or we can use the table feature of the graphing calculator. Let's go ahead and set up our table. We'll press second window. Let's go ahead and change our table start to zero. And we'll have the change in the table by ones. Let's go ahead and leave the independent variable on automatic. And now we'll press second graph. And here it shows the values of t and the corresponding values for x and y for our graph. Now let's take a look at x equals the square root of t and y equals five minus t. Notice here t has to be greater than or equal to zero because x is equal to the square root of t. Notice we have our old equations here so we can just press clear, enter. And now we have x equals the square root of t. So second x squared brings up the square root t close parenthesis, and then y was equal to t minus five. Now we do have to go back and set up our window. We can't leave our t minimum at negative 10 because x will be undefined. Remember t was on the interval from zero to infinity. So we'll change t minimum to zero. Press enter. And we'll go ahead and leave everything else the same. Let's press graph. Now notice that our graph stops right here, and that's because we had our T maximum set at 10. So if we wanted to see more of this graph, we would have to increase the T maximum. Let's go ahead and press trace. So when T is zero, X is zero, and Y is negative five, if we press the right arrow, we can find additional points on this graph. Or if we go to the table by pressing second graph, we can also select the points that we want to plot from this screen. You can see from this graph, it looks like it's half of a parabola that opens up. Okay, let's go and take a look at a couple more interesting graphs now. For these next three examples, we're gonna consider T on the closed interval from zero to two pi. And for number three, we have x equals five sine t and 
y equals 2 cosine t. So we press y equals, let's clear these. And again, x is 5 sine t. And y equals 2 cosine t. We do need to go back and adjust the window. So we'll press window. Remember our interval for t was from 0 to 2 pi. So we'll leave t min as 0 and t max is going to be 2 pi. So we can press the 2 and then second exponent key brings up pi. I'm also going to change the t step. I'll change this to pi divided by 12. Before we graph this, let's make sure we're in radian mode. And it looks like we are in radian mode. Let's go ahead and press graph. And you can see here we have an ellipse. Where the major axis would be 10 units and the minor axis would be 4 units. If we press trace, notice that when t is 0, it starts right here at the point 0, 2. And as t increases, it's going to be more difficult to plot these points accurately. But you can see this ellipse is traced clockwise as t increases from 0 to 2 pi. Or, of course, we could press second graph to access the table feature as well. Let's go and take a look at two more. Our next example is x equals 6 cosine cubed t and y equals 6 sine cubed t. So we'll go ahead and clear these. So we have 6 and then cosine cubed t. And y was 6 sine cubed t. The interval for t is the same, so let's go ahead and press graph. And you can see we have this asteroid shaped plane curve. If we press trace, and then the right arrow, we can see that this plane curve is traced out counterclockwise. as t increases from 0 to 2 pi. And the last one, we have x equals 4 cosine t and y equals 2 sine 4 t. x equals 4 cosine t and y equals 2 sine 4 t. Let's go ahead and press graph. And you can see we get a very interesting looking graph from these parametric equations. And if we press trace one more time we can see how this curve is traced as t increases from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.